Mr. Thompson. Oh, yeah. um, Derek Ng, one of the specialists. Oh, yeah. yeah. Can I call you Joe? Yeah, yeah. Great. Should we have a bit of a chat? Yeah, go for your life. Someone has to. So, Joe, you've been in hospital for 10 days, I understand. Yeah, too right. Well, how, how long am I going to be here? Sure. No. Look, I'd, I'll get to answering that question if I can. Um, as soon as possible, we'll get you out, hopefully. <laughs> right. Because we haven't had a chat before, could you just take me through the last 10 days or just even a bit before that? <coughs> What's happened with you? Well, I don't know. I just had a heart attack and they brought me in here and, and I've been here sitting in the, lying in this bed, taking their medicine and people come along and examine me and take my pulse and all that sort of thing, but I don't know what's what's going on, really. <coughs> I haven't even fixed this cough. Sure. So it sounds like things have been happening, but you don't kind of have a clear sense of, you know, where it's going. <laughs> no. I don't know if anyone does, really. You know, someone comes in and does something and someone else comes in and does the same bloody thing. Yeah. So it's a bit confusing or... Frustrating? Yeah, I'd say frustrating, yeah. So, look, I'm here to help. I'm one of the specialists in the hospital, as I said before, and uh, my job is to try and get you... To, to work with the team, get you better and get you out of hospital. Oh, when? As soon as possible. Right. All right. I, I know you'd like to know an exact day. Um, I'd like to be able to give that to you, but at the moment there's a few things we need to get on top of. Well, what what sort of things you've got to get in For top? example, the cough. We'd like to see you get a little bit better. Oh, so would I. Yeah. So, look, we're, we're going to keep working hard to get you better. Good. I think that's important for you to know. Hmm. The, the other important conversation is really what your sense of what we should do if your heart gets worse. So I'm not saying it's going to be now, but potentially down the track. Well, how would I know what you should do? I'm a bloody truck driver, not a doctor. What, what, what have you got to give me? Sure. So I realise that um, a lot of people have a sense of CPR. So if you, know, the, if you get sicker and sicker... CPR. Oh, that's the stuff where they belt you in the chest. That's right. That's and right. that works, does it? Well, look, that's a good question. A lot of people think it works, but in the situation where the heart gets weaker and weaker with repeated heart attacks, when it comes down to the point where your heart stops, CPR is not effective. And any other way of starting? Um, I wish there was, right. but there isn't. There really isn't. So what else can you do? When it comes time that your heart is not working, we would make sure that you're absolutely comfortable, free of pain. Yeah, and, and, and I'm still here or at home? Can I go home? Yeah, so these are different scenarios we're talking about. I know it's confusing. At this stage, you are improving and we are going to get you home. Ah, well, that's it something. Is, it is useful that we've had a discussion about this. and. If, if I get weaker and weaker, do you want me back in here or can I stay home? I think that's a good point and we can discuss that. And we have to discuss it with the missus as well. Sure. How about we then get your missus in and we can talk about a plan at home as well? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Okay, so I'm going home. Yes, you are. Good. Cool.